This is the route I took some 45 years ago, I guess. I didn't have an appointment uh, with the Rebbe. I didn't know how I was going to reach him, but I really believed that he would make the time for me. I left when I was about 18 years old. On the flip of a dime, just left everything. And my brother asked me, do you love Hashem? It was a highly politicized time. A lot of people were looking for different stuff. <laughs> some of them were, and some of them were. <laughs> <laughs> When I came to the campus, this one is banging on drums, bowing down to an idol. This one is, is smoking incense. It was Mission Goimhuis. Hippies like you never saw. I would start to go to their home for, for Friday night. I don't know, it's just something like touched me inside about that. To see Shabbos, like, I guess how it's really, how it's really done. Elliot was in the top of the world, touring with Mick Jagger. He was uh, friends with a lot of big stars, and yet he felt it was all empty. He sounds very troubled that if I can't prove to him that there is Hashem, it's over. That was um, the most... Uh... Uh, joyous, but also, um, hooey. He says to me, you don't know anything about my past and what I've been doing. I said to him, my brother, you don't know anything about my past either. Rebbe comes out of his room, and we're standing, Dafka in the hallway. 